Dr. Rhys Morgan is at the Royal Navy Submarine Museum in Gosport, England, uncovering information about a secret weapon from the Revolutionary War. And this is it, the turtle, the first submersible used in recorded underwater combat. Bushnell's plan for the turtle was to sneak up on the British enemy ships moored in New York Harbor. The vessel had lots of weights in it to help it sink into the water, and underneath the base, there was a ballast tank which would be filled with water. And the operator, a man called Ezra Lee, would pump the water in and out of the tank to help sink to the right depth. As the turtle slips underwater, its two surface-mounted snorkels seal. The pilot powers the craft using a hand-cranked front-mounted propeller. As he approaches his target, he readies the turtle's weapon. The turtle's weapon, a keg of gunpowder, was attached to the back of the wooden hull. As the submarine silently crept up underwater, to the base of the ships, it would be attached by this drill, which would be literally hand-drilled into the base of the ship. Unfortunately for the pilot, Ezra Lee, the British fleet had metal hulls. By sheer bad luck, Ezra Lee wasn't able to drill into the ship's hull, so the turtle was a bit of a failure. But having said that, it did set the precedent for submersible combat and the principles of ballast tanks and propulsion still to this day remain on all submarines.